Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we're gonna to talk about another digital comic that's exclusive on the Marvel Unlimited app. This one is called Alligator Loki. It's written by Alyssa Wong and it has art by Robert Quinn. And this is, you're probably like, why are you talking about Alligator Loki on the show? Well, if you watch my Mo Merch, Mo Problems episode recently where we listed all the different sightings of symbiotes that are gonna be throughout the summer, at least some of them throughout the spring, um, and then a little bit in the summer, there's so much coming out, like with symbiotes and everything. There's there's just so much stuff. And like I said, I, I recommend you follow I Spy a Symbiote on Instagram. I'll put a link to their account down below again, because if it wasn't for them and their account, I wouldn't even have known about this comic book. So I'm glad I saw this on their page because this book came out today and I read it and it's a blast. <laughs> it's There's no dialogue in this. And again, the way to get this, you have to sign up for the Marvel Unlimited app. I don't know if they're still running the, like the, the promo that I used, which was putting in the promo code QUANTUM, which gave you two months for the price of one month. So for 10 bucks, you get two months access to Marvel Unlimited. There's a lot of cool comic books on there. If you want to read them, some of that are exclusive that kind of scroll up and down, you know, on your phone. Um, so that's what this book is. It kind of scrolls up and down instead of like doing panel to panel. And, uh, and then there's other older comics and other stuff that Marvel puts out monthly where you do go panel to panel. So there's a lot of cool stuff on this app. Uh, definitely worth the price um, of $10 a month, let alone $10 for two months. So if that code still works, hopefully it does, you can use Quantum um, as of recording this, but it's March already. I don't know if they're still running that promo uh, now that the movie's out, but uh, good luck. Either way, it's it's worth the price, I feel. And this book, Alligator Loki, has been going on for a while. Alyssa Wong has been writing it for a while. I believe she's also the writer of one of the recent Deadpool books, if not the most current one. And so, and we're going to be talking about that soon because, you know, Carnage, uh, or like, I guess he grew, Deadpool grew Carnage arms or something out of his back. So there's something going on there, uh, maybe symbiote related. So we're going to dive into that at some point in the near future. But for this book, it's just like an all ages kids book. There's no dialogue. It's kind of like a Marvel Nuff said back when they used to do those where no one talks. Uh, and it's just like this funny almost like a Muppet Babies episode. I don't know if the whole series is written like this, but if it is, I might actually check out more issues. Um, I'm still going to check it out because I like this one, but I might get into it more if it's just like this because it's really silly. Like if anyone out there wants this to be like steeped in continuity or, you know, an actual meeting between Alligator Loki and Symbiotes, you're not really going to get that. On the cover, you have Venom and Carnage, and they're kind of like holding Alligator Loki. Um, but the book, the actual story, and I'm going to get into some spoilers and beats of the story here. So if you don't want to know what it is and just want to know that it's a fun Muppet Baby style, uh, you know, uh, single issue story you can read, go check it out on the Marvel Unlimited app. Uh, but for those of you who are staying, I'll just tell you a brief overview of the story, which is that uh, Alligator Loki is being walked, you know, because he's a pet, uh, to Loki and Thor. So Loki and Thor are talking about brother stuff, and uh, they're not actually saying anything. It's just them walking down the street, and they have Alligator Loki on a leash, and they're taking him for a walk, but they want to go in and get coffee, and there's no pets allowed. So they leave Alligator Loki outside. They tie him up to, like, a bike rack or something, and then they go in and get their coffee, which, you know, that's... I mean, I know it's just kind of a for-fun thing, but I always harp on that with current comic books where everyone seems to just talk in coffee shops and just like really can they not go do any other activity it's always got to be coffee uh but i get i guess that a lot of writers drink coffee not me i don't like coffee um but maybe that's why i'm not a good writer <laughs> i don't know um but this book loki and thor go and get their coffee and alligator loki's hanging outside and he looks up and there's a battle going on um and it looks like it's a battle from the extreme carnage series because it has all the symbiotes the life foundation symbiotes but they're kind of half bonded with Carnage and they've been taken over and you have uh, Silence there though and you have Venom there who was not in Extreme Carnage. It was actually anti-Venom. So at first I was like, oh, okay, so continuity wise, this doesn't actually match continuity. So, okay, so what is this? You know, so the symbiotes are all battling. It's Venom versus the Life Foundation symbiotes in Carnage and, he, and Carnage has control of the Life Foundation symbiotes and they're all going at it and then they see Alligator Loki and they just find him adorable. <laughs> and so they decide to stop fighting and hang out with them. I guess they don't feel like it's right to, you know, tie up a dog or, or an alligator in this case, a pet outside of a coffee shop, you know. Um, and I agree. <laughs> I don't like when people do that either. So they're like, hey, you know what? come hang out with us while your owners or whatever are getting their coffee. Just come hang out with us. And again, there's no dialogue, but the, it's just all suggestive and visual. And, and the art is great, by the way, by Robert Quinn. I love the colors. The colors are, make it very fun and make it pop a lot. Um, so 
yeah, so they just kind of hang out, <laughs> to take selfies, wear, you know, wear the alligator crown on all their heads and just doing goofy things like that. And they're just having a fun time uh, hanging out with Alligator Loki. And then at the end, they go, okay, and they put him back and, and then Thor, and they leave and they go continue their battle. And Loki and Thor come out of the coffee shop and are like, what have you been up to since, you know, we've been gone kind of thing. Uh, they, but they see him and he's kind of like, he's, you know, he's rocking out, uh, looking all cool and stuff and smiling. And they're like, wait, he doesn't like being out here. Why is he all happy? And then it cuts to, you know, Alligator Loki in like his home and he's playing with all these action figures that are of the symbiote. Some of them have like broken arms, I think, and stuff. And he's just kind of playing with all of them as action figures, it kind of suggesting that maybe this is kind of like Muppet Babies where none of it really happened. And they just, he, you know, Alligator Loki just kind of imagined all this, found some toys and started playing with them and just came up with this scenario. Uh, because there's no dialogue and no narration or anything, you don't really know, but that's the feeling I got from it. So if you got a different feeling from it, let me know. But that's what it felt like. And, and I kind of like that. I was like, oh, if that's true, if it's just all in his head and it's kind of like Muppet Babies, that's awesome. <laughs> That's a really, really cool and a fun idea to do with these characters uh, because, yeah, the continuity didn't really make sense at first, but I'm like, oh, if he's just imagining it and it's something, you know, maybe he saw on the news, the Extreme Carnage, you know, event on the news or something, it's like, okay, or just has, like, general knowledge of it because he's a magic alligator. I'm like, yeah, that could work. Um, but, yeah, so it's just, like, a fun little one-shot, and I thought it was a nice departure from you know, the DLC game I've been playing lately because I know not everyone, you know, that's why I separated gaming footage and have a whole channel for gaming. Um, and I know a lot of people who come here for Venom stuff aren't all like hardcore about video games and stuff. So I thought I'd take a break from the DLC for a couple days, make this video for you and talk about it and show off something we're gonna talk about in the next episode. Yes, this is the Marvel Stunt Squad. I can't believe I actually saw one of these and I figured, ah, screw it, 10 bucks. I had a gift card. Let's go ahead and pick it up and we'll uh, talk about it in a future episode. So yes, this will be coming up. We'll kind of do another cutesy video after this and then we'll get back into the DLC of the video games, and then we'll get back into more of the dark web stuff and the modern comics. So uh, yeah, so let me know what you think of Alligator Loki issue 20. If you enjoyed it, if you read it yourself, please let me know what you think down below, uh, and or just what you thought of my des description of it. But I will say, please, like I know some of you don't have access to a lot of this stuff, but if you are able to get access to it and you're able to pay for these services and check them out yourself, I recommend it, you know? And I, I like to, do like these things where I get Netflix for like a month and then I'll go get like HBO Max for a month or something and I catch up on shows I missed or that have been recommended to me if I have time and then I'll go to like a comic book app and get Marvel Unlimited for a month so I kind of bounce around so uh, just to kind of you know so I'm not paying like 80 bucks a month on like six different services uh, so if you're like me and do that then I would say at some point pick this up get the Marvel Unlimited app and check out all the comics on there it's a great way to catch up on books that you may have missed out on in the past like year or two um, or even before that way before that because they post a lot of really good stuff on there and anything that's kind of available on Comixology at some point ends up on the uh, Marvel Unlimited app so yeah very wide variety of, uh, of Marvel content for sure so let me know what you think again down below and let me know if you're excited for this we'll pop this up in the next episode and then we'll get back to uh, some video gaming so thank you so much see you in the next episode peace